So my name is Justina Muniva. I'm a field interviewer with the group project. Yes. I'm Zipora. I'm the be I benefit with the group project. Yeah. My name is Milka Njeri. I'm a research officer at the African Population and Health Research Center. Because Zipora is an amazing lady who was able to benefit from the program. We've been able to see the change, the impact that the program has had upon her. And it's important for the whole world to know that the GROW project actually works. Yeah. Single mothers do not have uh, any support, any kind of support from uh, spouses or from, from uh, family to help with the child care activity. So they have to take up the road of uh, taking care of the children and also <laughs> getting involved in some form of uh, income generating activities to be able to provide for the family. So it's a challenge sometimes for single mothers because they have the responsibility of taking care of their children and the responsibility of making sure that they're also feeding for their families. We worked with the 1,200 women in Korogoto and uh, those were women who had children were one, four years and below, one, between one and four years. And the reason why we focused on that age category is because from five years and uh, above, the government already caters for the, or has provisions for daycare facilities for children who are five years and above. We approached them to collect uh, their baseline characteristics before the intervention. And then after the baseline survey, they were randomized into intervention and control. It was good for me from the day they approached up to now, it is just like a daydreaming. My child is going to school, the private one, expensive school. So it, I, I think I have done, I have done a lot, a lot in my life, because at the first time I was living a single room, the small one, it was very squeezed. But after they had taken my daughter to school, I started working, working. I saved small by small, and I rent the big house. This, uh, the thing that makes me to be surprised that I was asked to choose for myself the school, the preschool that I want my daughter to enter. And I suggest Rehema Deke and Orphan Center. It is near here. I was very happy because that school is very expensive. So I was very happy, yeah. After I have got this sponsor, I get many opportunities for going to look for a job and to work because before I was just staying with my child there waiting for something because you can't go for a work with your baby, carrying your baby at your back. It is very hard. Someone can not give even the work. You have to stay just like that. But after that I get more morale to work. Yeah, so I used to make people's hair neat at the salon. Sometimes I wash for the people clothes watch the dishes, yeah, so I think it was good for me. And I had benefit a lot. The benefit are still there because now I'm working. I, I've never been scared about my child because before I used to leave my child anywhere outside. The vehicle can hit him. She can get any accident. But for now, from that, from that day, I'm never, I'm never been scaring because my child is at school all the time, yeah. So the main findings from this study is that uh, one of the things that we found is that uh, mothers who are in the intervention, uh, or more mothers in the in the intervention, participated in the in uh, some form of income acti generating activity. So we had more mothers, about 88 percent more mothers in the intervention, participating in some form of income generating activity in the course of the of the project period, compared to those who were in the control. And what we found out is that if you subs if mothers are are given are provided with subsidized child care services for that age category they're able to participate more in the labor force so we have uh, in Kenya we have more men being involved in income generating activities or we have more men in the labor force compared to women 
and to be able to close that uh, gender gap in terms of participation in the labor force, I think uh, it would be important from what we have found out in our research to be able to provide the daycare services or daycare support for mothers who have children four years and below so that they're able to also participate in the, in the labor force. And our research showed that meant to provide or to come up with policies that provide for conducive working environment for mothers who have children and also to provide entrepreneurial and um, yeah, entrepreneurial training, skills training for mothers or for women. So that even as you provide the daycare services, they also have that kind of skill that takes them uh, to the next level of now being able to look for work or in, being in, and getting some, in some uh, income directly. I'm hoping that the government will be able to realize that subsidizing daycare centers is important and it will be put in the law, the DPA, the it on, that every, it will be at the world level that every MCA will be able to access and have at least a subsidized daycare center in every ward for a starter that will be important. <laughs>